If you're using NX 3D CAD software and want to find interferences between moving parts or create flashy presentations or assembly instructions, you've come to the right place. I'll teach you how to animate in minutes. If you've ever bought a product that needed to be put together, you probably remember getting a book, Some Assembly Required. And while such instruction manuals are full of text and images, they can be hard to read and to be honest with you, it's kind of 1975-ish. I'll show you a better way using video. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll show you a neat way to promote your assembly instruction videos. Let's get started. Let's create an animated disassembly assembly instructions for the brake pads. If you're wondering what the components are, there's a handy color random option on here to uh, assign everything in a random color. You can click this as many times as you want to redefine what the colors are to see at a glance on what all of these components are. I already have the start of my uh, animation on here. I've got uh, rigid groups already defined. I've got some joints already defined and I've got a position motor to spin this thing around. Let's hit the play button and see what happens. Now when I created this, I actually forgot to um, include both of the uh, rotor and the disc brakes. So I could go and redefine that if I want to or there's a handy joint called a bond joint that allows you to glue all of this stuff together after the fact. Then you hit play, you can see how both things spin around. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to use an animated explode operation to pull the bolt out, open the caliper up, take the pads out, and replace everything by running everything in reverse. What's interesting is uh, if you want to explode something, you don't need to have a rigid group. You can explode virtually anything on the screen. I'm going to launch a timeline, and after this is done spinning, now I want the bolt to come out. I'm going to change the color option here to explode color to show us progress as we're exploding things. Grab the animated explode command, pick this bolt, and uh, move this uh, handle out by just, uh, I don't know, 100 millimeters or so, enough to clear the actual uh, parts. And we will add a spin to help illustrate it actually spinning as it comes out. So kind of how this command works here is you specify what you want to explode, where you want it to explode to, and a duration and some other options to get it to do the magic. Once you hit apply, notice how it turns that bluish color, letting me know that there's already an explode operation on here. We'll move our timeline over to the end of that operation. Now it's time to open up the caliper. So let's grab the caliper and that little piston inside and we are going to rotate this about, but it's got to be about this point here. So I'm going to change this option here to move handles. And we'll put our handle right at the center point of that bolt. Then when we drag it open, you'll see how the caliper opens up, revealing the actual brake pads themselves. Now notice how the color changes there. Now we'll move our cursor to the end of that operation. And it's time to remove the actual brake pads. So you guessed the operation here. We're going to grab the, uh, this retaining plate, the brake pad, and any other related components, which I think that's going to be about it. We'll drag this out about 10 millimeters. We'll drag it up a little bit and then pull them straight out. And that's going to give us three operations. And you can see how they show up in the timeline as these little green event bars. And notice how the timeline will explode this thing up or out, up, and over. At the end of this operation, let's do the other side. So we've got the uh, brake pad, this retaining plate, and some little plate inside. I'm not really sure what that is, but it doesn't really matter because we know it has to come out. Same as before, we'll drag it out a little bit. Probably right about here. We'll drag it up a small amount, and we're just going to pull it right out so it clears all of the other components. And that's probably going to do it for our explode operations. All right, now that uh, that's how you get the pads out, how do you put the pads back in? So if you've ever placed brakes, uh, uh, brake pads in a vehicle like this or pads like this, consider this a mini tutorial. All right, if you have guessed uh, how to put them in is a reverse, you guessed right. We're going to grab all of these events here and we're simply going to mirror these around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these out a little bit just to give me some room to put a few other operations in here. So for example, um, as the um, brakes get old and dirty, they might get a little rusty and beat up. Let's show an operation that changing the pads out from 
old rusty ones to shiny new ones. There is an animated color option up here that allows you to change the color between uh, time one and time two. So I want the pads to start with this kind of a rusty brown looking color. And at the end of that event, which is default to one second, but you can of course change that, we want them to be shiny new. And you can see how that color is going to change from, from uh, one operation to, uh, to another. Now, the one thing I didn't put in here is if you've never replaced these pads, you've got to compress the piston back in. As these wear, the piston extends a little bit and new pads won't fit. So we have to uh, compress these in. So what we're going to do is same operation as before. We're going to grab this piston and we're going to pull him in. Just uh, not an anatomically correct amount, just what I think is going to illustrate what the actual process is. Then when that's done, then we're going to slide everything over. So we're going to pick the caliper, the piston, these little bolts, and probably going to be good enough. And we're going to slide this thing over the other way uh, just a little bit. That's probably going to be good enough for illustrative purposes. Now let's see what this thing looks like in its uh, entirety. So let's uh, fit our view, hit play, wheel spins around to make sure nothing is sticking. We uh, open up the bolt. Caliper opens up, pad comes out, other pad comes out. Compress the piston in, slide the caliper over, change the pads, and put everything back together in reverse order. Pretty fancy. However, I'd like a very close-up view of all of these operations. So, let's bring up our timeline and scoot it down a little bit to give me some room to see my view. What we're going to do, we're going to use an animated camera effect, but uh, the operation is actually pretty slick. You just specify the view, remember it, and the software will automatically handle the transforms between each of these views. So, for example, um, I want to be looking at the... Uh, wheel assembly or the disc assembly in this view. So I'm going to hit this little button down here to capture the animated camera. Then at the end of its spinning process, I want to capture it again, maybe a little bit before. Then we're going to advance our cursor over and we're going to zoom in on this bolt here so you can see exactly what is happening. We're going to capture that point of view. Then when the bolt comes out about here or so, we're going to capture that view. Then move our cursor over just a little bit so I can actually capture the caliper opening up. So we'll remember that view at that point in time. Capture the view again. Then we're going to rotate our view around. So I'm just going to get a little bit of room to snap our view around. Oops, there we go. And then we'll remember that view at that point in time. Then move our cursor over a little bit, and we're going to zoom in on this side. And I'm going to keep repeating this process until I have all of my views captured. And this is the important one here, because it's kind of hard to see the actual uh, compression of the piston. So we're going to move our view over to here, capture that view, and allow all the magic to happen here. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. About here, wherever I think is good. We'll remember that view, and that should be it. Now I'm going to um, stop our view. We'll hit play, and you can see how the rotor spins around. Zoom in on the bolt. Zoom in on the pads coming out. Zoom in on the other pad coming out. Zoom in on the caliper uh, compression process. Put the piston, uh, sorry, put the pads back in, and you're done. Pretty slick way on showing disassembly and assembly instructions. Well, is that a better way to go? I sure think so. Take your completed video and put it on a site like YouTube. Then generate a QR code linking it to that video. Take that QR code, put it on your website, put it on the box that the product comes in. People can see how to use your product and install it right then and there. Want to see what this looks like in action? Use your smartphone and scan the QR code on the screen. It'll take you to a fictitious product and you'll see what I'm talking about. 
Well, that covers this week's lesson. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up. If you have a tip to share, leave a comment so my subs can learn more. Thanks for watching.